I know it's still too soon for Toronto Maple Leafs fans to talk about that heartbreaking loss on Sunday night to the Columbus Blue Jackets in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup qualifiers, therefore eliminating Leafs fans' hopes of seeing their team hoist the Stanley Cup this season. He'll skate this into the open net for a 3-0 Columbus lead with 23 seconds to go. That look says it all. Leafs disappointed, fans disappointed after the team was shut out 3-0 and sent packing from their hub hotel and entered Heartbreak Hotel as the Leafs continued their 16-year winless playoff drought. Well, it's hard to put it all into words. I mean, it might take some time to digest a little bit, but it's definitely... A bad feeling, bad taste. Obviously very disappointing. Uh, you know, lots of uh, you know, mixed emotions kind of going through all our heads right now. It was a season full of a lot of highs, but a lot of lows. We understand that it's not an optimal time um, to, to have someone uh, new come in and, and run the bench. Just over a month into the season, the Leafs fired head coach Mike Babcock and brought in Marley's head coach Sheldon Keefe. Obviously my focus is on our disappointment of not being able to get this done and Obviously, hats off to Columbus. Or who could forget this moment this season that made international headlines? David Ayers, the emergency goaltender. He's from Whitby, played some junior B. Yes, remember when the Leafs lost to the Marley Zamboni driver, who, by the way, is one of the nicest humans out there, but still not a good look. Then COVID happened, and the team goes into lockdown for almost five months to return and not make the playoffs extending the NHL's longest Stanley Cup drought to 53 years. Now the Leafs have a lot of questions they need to answer heading into the offseason. Could the pressure be on Kyle Dubas after yet another early exit? Will they still want Keefe as the bench boss? Here is what we know. Kyle Clifford, Jason Spezza, Cody Ceci and Tyson Berry will all be free agents and the Leafs right now have almost no cap space. So all of them very well could have played their last game for the Buds on Sunday. The Leafs also have four restricted agents, including Freddie Goche. A lot of moves could be made, and this could be a very different blue and white roster next season. But hey, there could be a consolation prize in less than an hour. The Leafs find out if they get the coveted number one draft pick this year. They're hoping to get the number one projected draft pick, Alexi Lafreniere. And we will have those results for you later in the show. Well, guess what? It's fun. First selection in the 2020 NHL draft belongs to the New York Rangers. Okay, it's been a rough 24 hours for the Toronto Maple Leafs. First, they get eliminated from the Stanley Cup qualifiers by the Blue Jackets, and tonight they lost out on the first overall draft pick. Here's who they could have got is top ranked North American skater Alexi Lafiniere. Now, the Quebec native isn't quite in the Sid the Kid category or a Connor McDavid, but experts predict he will make an immediate impact on the team. You look at the package that is Lafreniere and what he's able to do as a player, it's kind of separated during that tournament. The 18 year old left winger had 35 goals and 77 assists for his team last season and was MVP at the World Junior Championships. The accomplishments don't stop there. He was also named the Canadian Hockey League Player of the Year and received the Jean Beliveau Trophy as leading scorer in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League.